Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. Uh, as usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including uh, gold and oil. And um, yeah guys, again, if you do like this video, please be sure to hit that like button that helped me a lot. And uh, if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell. See you there. Welcome back guys, as usual a quick look at the calendar and as you see as major event we do not have much major events on the calendar, the only big event gonna be uh, NFP on Friday and um, yeah we have uh, ACB uh, Lagarde to speak a couple of times uh, Monday and Wednesday uh, and we do have the ISM manufacturing PMI on Thursday from the US. Uh, if we uh, put on the medium impact event then we do have a little bit more event to keep an eye at. But as you know mostly I keep an eye on the major events on the calendar. Uh, starting with the chart and as usual we start al always with the Dixie. I'm going to the weekly time frame uh, since uh, it's an important time frame here especially that we've been talking about this level here for a couple of weeks now or more about the uh, importance of this level where uh, the dollar been testing this area and could not break below it and um, I've been telling you guys it could be time for some reversal after such a strong impulse to the downside so um, the dollar is still trading below the 200 moving average on the weekly and on the daily but uh, a little bit of a correction uh, is needed here and uh, the first level of interest is going to be the 95 area because it's been a good support and resistance previously and after that the second level is this uh, major structure here as well at around the 96.30. These two levels are going to be uh, important levels for uh, for the, the bears to defend and uh, for the bulls to try and uh, break uh, above them. So keep an eye on the 95.15 as a first level of interest and the second level is this uh, area here at around 96.30 and as I mentioned earlier keep in mind uh, the dollar is trading now uh, below it uh, 200 moving average and uh, the thing is it uh, was it was stretching far away from the 200 and usually you, you you're gonna see a, a reversal back to the mean before any continuation if this will continue to the downside so short term and mid term uh, possible dollar continuation uh, we probably gonna also see some kind of correction maybe a retest of this broken neckline before a uh, a continuation to the upside that is also a possibility and that would be a, a good idea if that would happen since if you are not uh, long already then you will have the chance to go long um, on the retest of this structure so for next week i think any break below uh, the first structure here that could signal that correction to start happening before any continuation to the upside oil um, still um, still um, bouncing around so we had this uh, strong impulse to the downside then we had a correction and it started to make a continuation to the downside so what we have now on oil is a first lower high and then a second lower high and uh, the level to to break for the bears to continue this now is uh, the first one is here the second one is this level need to be broken for that continuation so that is what I'm watching here any um, failure to break above this high that mean we are looking for a potential sell scenario here and as you see we had a strong break below this uh, structure so a retest and continuation to the downside is what i'm looking for and seems like the the, the price is uh, failing to break above the 200 moving average on the four hour as well gold broke lower so um, as i mentioned last week i'm expecting gold to do a retest of the uh, um, 1800 area down here 
or maybe a retest of the 200 moving average before the continuation to the upside the 200 moving average on the daily been acting as nice support uh, previously around this 200 moving average the price tend to move higher so it been um, the same as it was here stretched from the 200 we got a retest to that 200 and then continuation and uh, this time it was stretched even more furthermore from the 200 moving average as you see the price was all the way up here and the 200 moving average was all the way down here so again a little bit of a correction is possible before a continuation the gold i think gold gonna still be bullish longer term but look how far it is from the 200 moving average on the weekly so it need to go back a little bit uh, down to find more buyers and so on so this is pretty normal so short term uh, bearish continuation on gold uh, longer term uh, i think we're gonna see uh, bullish uh, bullish continuation so for now and since we broke this level here i think at least the 1800 is the level at around 1800 um, area or uh, 1775 could be a good level to look for buys but at the moment i think we should keep selling rallies EURUSD also uh, broke major structure and um, as you know guys i was looking uh, for this uh, short um, uh, to come and we we did have a great trades on this uh, market we had a lower high here after losing momentum we've got this lower high we've got a break of the neckline and uh, if we look left now there is not much left on the way until uh, we we reach this uh, level of interest down here so i'm expecting euro con to continue lower the question is if we're gonna get some kind of a retest of the broken structure before that continuation i would love to see this market moving back up toward uh, monthly s1 and this broken structure give us a better um, entries or to add more shorts on this trade because it is it would look something like this if you're gonna take a swing trade a stop loss just above uh, this previous high and uh, your target uh, could be all the way down here so that would be a, a, a nice trade uh, around 300 pips or so depends on uh, where you get your entry and then a continuation to the downside um, is what i'm looking for on this market so it is sell rallies but as i said the question is if we're gonna get a correction all the way up or just uh, some kind of uh, flag and continuation so it depends on how the market behave ne uh, next week and as you see on friday we had there was a little bit of attempt to to uh, break higher but they failed again and broke previous structure and uh, gave us a continuation so that is the case here sterling usd let's take a look on the daily time frame we see that uh, the sterling is sitting on this uh, 200 moving average on the daily at the moment acting as nice dynamic support we know that after this uh, strong impulse we had an attempt toward 1.300 where i told you uh, it is a sell level and we've got a nice sell uh, from this area and now it is sitting on this 200 moving average on the daily time frame and uh, for more downside uh, they need to break uh, this structure this little flag here need to be broken for that continuation to the downside so keep an eye on this little range right now uh, this structure is an important um, uh, area here as far as there is no break above these highs here if there is no break to the upside then it is a sell on uh, at around this area 1.2760 ish this little range gonna uh, define what uh, next week would look like okay so once again if there is no break above the range try to look for a break and retest to the downside on this market and if this got broken that mean that we're gonna have a break on the daily time frame so a daily close below the 200 moving average is for sure a signal for uh, the bears uh, to to keep pushing to the downside 
USD Jappy, so this market uh, did dip all the way down to retest uh, this previous low. It tagged this low a little bit below that, reached the uh, monthly S2, and then 104 was an important uh, level again. Uh, and uh, the bulls uh, did uh, enter the market, and as you see, since then they've been pushing to the upside. So I'm. Uh, I uh, I am in uh, this trade uh, as well, especially after uh, this move here. So we had this impulse, and then I entered on a daily pivot here. Um, and uh, let me check those daily pivots. So and put on put on a little bit of a history, so we can see what happened. So as you see. Now, when we put uh, the the pivot points here on uh, this chart, we see that the retest was just at the daily pivot here. Uh, so we had this strong impulse, and we start getting a correction. And I was getting ready to enter this market here, so it was a nice trade to start this. It broke left the flag after that. We've got a continuation then. Then on the day after, I went down to the 15 minute time frame. And uh, there was uh, also another reason for entry here. Uh, nice uh, impulse that broke uh, this flag here. And then on this double bottom, after the break of the neckline, and I enter on this retest candle, this little candle here for the continuation move. So. A very nice trade um, on um, USD Jappy, and I'm looking for a potential continuation on this market. Let me take off those pivots. So I'm looking for continuation, but since uh, the bulls did, uh, seems like they are losing momentum, there is potential correction back down, maybe toward 105. That would be a great idea if we get that. Otherwise, for next week, the first level to watch is down here. This level here, the, the, the bottom of this uh, little range could be something to look at as first. And uh, if there is no bias found here, I'm sure that uh, at around 105, there will be more bias and potentially a continuation to the upside on USD Jappy. USD Chief. So uh, finally, we have a break of the range. We've been talking about this range for a while. Now look how many days it, it spent down here, and now it is broken. So it is game over for the bears. Uh, the bulls broke this. We had a higher low. This was an early warning for a potential breakout. Since we had this low here, then the market failed to break lower, and then gave us a higher low. And we had this here that broke above this uh, previous high as well. So it was an early warning that we might see a breakout. And I told you in previous week overview, if we get a breakout here, look for a retest. We've got a retest and then continuation. So very nice uh, structural trade. Uh, you have the break first retest. We have second retest. We have two chances to enter and then you had another break and retest and the continuation so there was enough time to enter along and there is still enough time we are on the daily time frame so on the daily we did not do a retest yet so it could happen that you get a retest on the daily candles as well before a continuation so the next thing that may happen that you get another higher low somewhere here that would mean we start an initial trend here with uh, a channel and a trending market to the upside. So keep an eye on that scenario. USD CAD also bullish broke uh, previous structure. So after this first impulse, we've got a correction that got broken. And um, we could uh, look for a potential continuation to the upside here on this market. We had a nice break of this structure and then a continuation we had a retest of monthly R1 and next week any break above this high that would signal continuation to the upside. If uh, bulls fails to break higher, keep an eye on the monthly R1 that is a potential support once again. And if that got broken, the next level of support gonna be down here to look for buys from this broken structure uh, at around the, this area, okay? 
Other USD looking at the daily, it is collapsing totally after um, reached a, a, a good level of uh, interest here. Looking left, it is an area that been tested uh, here many times at both uh, support here, resistance here got retested. We saw that the bulls was losing momentum already here, and then we've got an exhaustion candle that failed to continue and then we start seeing this failure to the downside now if we go to the daily time frame you see it clearly here you had the market was losing momentum we start getting a bearish divergence here and then this pattern happened a lot at the tops you see a surge in the price getting uh, making many new traders entering on the breakout and then it collapsed against them and start eating stops so that what's happened on this market we have a break of the trend line uh, we see that the price now reached a very good level of interest so be aware of this area yearly pivot point at this level monthly as to and this pre all this previous structure so yeah it could continue but be careful it might slow down a little bit we've had a very strong impulse then a correction even stronger impulse to the downside and i think it could be time for a little bit of a correction now before any continuation so be aware that short term you may see a little bit of a continuation to the upside so uh, we may start uh, early next week by by watching for a potential correction higher New Zealand USD same scenario but this one have an even stronger support level here when and if the price reached this level you see it been tested so many times as both uh, support and resistance so it is a really important level here and we might uh, see some fighting going on on this level but all in all what I think may happen here on this market that we're gonna see a retest maybe a tag of this previous low as well then potentially a correction to the upside and what i'm seeing here is a potential double uh, uh, 2618 uh, trade after this double top here so we have the double top we have a break and neckline and potentially we might see a 2618 trade where you get where you take uh, a fibonacci retracement after a broken neckline on the double top you measure uh, where this end and start correcting to the upside so if this was our latest low your entry gonna be just at uh, below the 618 so uh, if we go down to the four hour time frame you might see it better so if this would be our last low now and the market start correcting higher you will enter somewhere just below 618 you put your limit order here and then you look for a continuation move to the downside risk to reward is amazing on this trade when they work because they do not always work stop loss need to be above previous high and the first target is near the latest low we have on the chart which is down here so this is your uh, target once and of course if that breaks even more you can extend this to this previous structure or something like that but at least you have 1.5 r something like that on this trade uh, if everything go as planned now if you don't know what is a 2618 uh, 2618 trade just make a search here on my channel and you will have a video about it where i explain it in more details so um, yeah guys that was it for the youtube version of um, this week's um, overview thanks a lot and uh, see you next sunday bye bye